What's going on, everybody? Want to thank you for joining me on another episode here. As you can see, I got Chris over there behind me doing some digging. Um, we're out today. This spot here, um, I thought on my research it dated to uh, 1850, but I did a door knock. The guy came out, said absolutely, and uh, told me that the property dates to 1661. And during the 1700s, it used to be a stagecoach stop because it was 20 miles from Boston and 20 miles from Plymouth. And um, his family took it over in the mid 1800s and it became a dairy farm until, I don't know, late uh, 1900s or so. But um, we're gonna be poking around, seeing what we can get. Uh, I've got a little bit of trash, nothing to show you right now, but we'll catch you at the next hole and um, hopefully it's something good. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to do this one here for you. I got. I'm up under these bushes. I got a 47 going on, so we are gonna try to get it together. Up under these trees here, absolutely. It's normally where the good stuff lies. Gone down to a 44 now over here. And that is going to be another penny. I've gotten uh, three of them so far. But um, yeah, hey, here's something like that. Got to bring you guys in. All right, this one here was a 25 signal, and it's going to be a nickel. Can't tell you the uh, year or whatever, but it's a nickel. It's nothing special. It's just a Jefferson. I don't think it's a war nickel. Definitely not the way that that's not shining up. All right, guys, this one's 38 signal. Kind of hoping for an Indian. Let it go. Another piece of that aluminum. Another piece of that aluminum. Right, I was chasing another 25 signal and it's gonna be another Jefferson. I don't think it's anything special. Nah. But it's another nickel. Digging those here, hopefully get some shields, some buffaloes. The age of this house, uh, it's got to be some other good stuff here. I hope Chris is doing uh, pretty good. There's still a lot of um, ground on the other side of the house that I haven't hit yet. But um, today I'm rolling with the sniper coil. I thought instead of uh, coming out and saying, oh, next time I wish I should have, blah, blah, blah. Um, I figured I'd just start out with the sniper coil and see how we do. There is tons of oil. Uh, I mean, um, iron, tons of oil, tons of iron that's in the ground here. So uh, doing our best, and um, we'll catch you on the next. All right, guys, I just, uh, I didn't film it. Dug a uh, clad quarter. This one's a 46. It's in the plug here. I'm thinking it's gonna be a clad dime. Or testicles. We just get balls. Silver balls, silver balls. What are you doing in the ground? Silver balls. Looking weird. Yeah, no idea what we got, guys. We'll check ya. All right, guys. I got 49.50. It's got, I'm hoping, since I've only been digging clad, that it's not a clad quarter. And we can get us some silver on the day. <sighs> All right. Some rusty iron, 
It's not what we're looking for. I got numbers that are down here on the side of the plug. Now what do we got? It's another iron nail. Uh, clad quarter all of that for a clad quarter eagle back all right guys we're gonna find out what we got going on here together this one's a 44 down here um, still down there uh, we plug it out and it's gonna be a d some horse tack, square D, but that's why that sounded like a copper coin. These things always do. Pretty sweet though. Hopefully this means we're getting onto some older stuff. All right, guys, I had a 54. Uh, pull up my plug. We got this thing looking at us. Let's see what we're looking at together. Oh, this looks like it's some kind of pulley, right? That's exactly what it is, some kind of pulley. It's um, nice to see that we're still on the farm stuff, you know? Nothing like cleaning up trash and all of that, cleaning up the environment. But um, we're still waiting for our silvers and our coppers to be rewarded for our good efforts. What's happening, everybody? Brian here with Silver Assassin Metal Detecting. I got out of work today. I was able to meet up with Josh and Angie from 508 magnets if you know the pants then you know the man um hot as heck out here today but we're gonna brave it out uh, out at this park that um i've had some good luck at seated dime silver ring a couple of weeks ago got that little silver charm right over there um and gotten a little bit of can slaw and a nickel here today uh, i'm gonna spin you around check out this next one all right like i said the other one was a nickel that i got uh my next coin here is also a nickel looks like uh 1964. now unfortunately only the dimes and the quarters are silver um so we're gonna keep plucking along until we find some more of that catch you on the next all right let's uh shrink shrinky dink there we go all right this one is a uh 3637 i'm ex <laughs> just gonna say i'm expecting another pull tab and here we go that's how the week's been going guys as you can't tell but um that's treasure hunting you know i think this is uh fourth time out and um honestly i think the oldest thing i got was that d buckle the other day and a pair of nuts hey guys we're gonna try to do this one together i got a uh 46 to 48 <laughs> Says it's down about six to eight or so. We're hoping for some silver. Just over here. something here oh it's gonna be a clad dime 1979 uh, this one 48 to 49 
touching up a little bit higher than that clad dime was. So let's hope that it's a silver dime and not a clad quarter. It's over here in the plug. Oh, clad quarter, eagle back. All right, 25, 26 signal. Um, it's gonna be a nickel or is it gonna be a pull tab? Drop a comment. What do you think? What do you think? Suspense is killing me. Who had money on? Neither. I don't know what it is. It's a piece of junk. Everybody lose house wins. Hey guys, I had a uh, 34 signal here that um, I honestly wasn't even recording. I was uh, getting really defeated by all the pull tabs that I got here. But um, I plucked that down. We got something kind of circular down here. And we're going to see what it is together. Oh, dropped it. Right there's where the shank would be. Definitely a flat button. Pretty sweet. Anything on that? And clean it up. Let's see what we got. Did I lose my brushes somewhere? I don't know, I must have lost my brushes somewhere. There is something on that. There is something on that. I will uh, find a brush and I'll be back. So yeah, Josh gave me a quick clean up here because um, I don't know, I'm a jackass and lost my brushes. But, um, pretty cool right there, right? Looks like there's some sort of eagle, burst, some fanciness going around the edges. Makes you guys want to hit that thumbs up, doesn't it? All right, Josh, I'm sorry I lied to you. I don't have a quarter. No. I got some sort of token. Oh, there you go. Nice. Um, RBI Baseball Academy. Hey, that's cool. Right? Got a nice shiny ball cap. Go hit the pitching machines and hit a bucket or something like that. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. All right, guys, I do apologize for the tractor. I have a 46 signal here, I wasn't sure plucked out this and I was looking at it, I was like, oh, that's kind of clean looking. 1953, so you know what that means. That, if we can ever get a hold of it, it's gonna be a wheat scent. Pretty sweet. So hopefully we can find some more silvers here. I really don't care, but thank you. All right, guys, that's what I got for you this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had fun always getting out and uh, digging with Chris. I know we got a couple of good places lined up in the future. Uh, really kind of bummed out that that 1661 was uh, pretty quiet, but um, it's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes somebody beats you there, sometimes you're the first one there. Um, seems like somebody else beat us there, you know? But um, it was nice to end out the week getting uh, out with Josh and Angie, 508 Magnets. Um, Josh is a good guy. If you don't know, go check out his channel. Gets into some good stuff over there. And, um, yeah, that's about all that I got for you. So you guys stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Peace.